All right, action and lights. Every couple years I get some more of these pads and kind of try seeing what's best out there. I use them in the hammock a lot, so they have a mummy shape and they're well insulated. It all starts there. And this is the Nemo Longbow. They now have the Extreme and the All Season, so a little bit newer version with more insulation. And this is the tried and true Neo Air X Therm Thermarest. It's hard hard to decide because I just can't keep everything. But this does not kind of deflate on its own as fast. Like it's real hard and solid. And you know, like I noticed this just loses air a little quicker. Um so you know if you're in the hammock your butt will sink down a little bit. I love the quick deflate valve on this whereas this valve especially in the hammock it's more friendly on the ground now i'm talking little things you know i'll show you you know compared to where you're coming from if you're coming off some you know cheap pad that you just got at the outdoors you know department store or whatever any of these are going to be just awesome but or if you especially need a medium wide you got it here in the mummy but what i'm getting at is this system from Thermarest, just a little more quirky, like when you're undone here and you're pumping it up, especially in the hammock where things flop around a little more, maybe on the ground too, on the ground too, <clears throat> this kind of spins around, you know, like, and so you'll be like trying to pump the pump sack and it'll be kind of twisted in and it's not going in and the air is like coming out of the seams. The seams are the next thing. Especially if you have like a bigger pad like this shoved into one of those pad sleeve systems or whatever. Or you're in the hammock and it's, you know, you're not on the ground where you can just pump that sack. You feel like, I don't know, that <clears throat> the seams, they leak. This is a little older one, but even new, they still, it's not that Nemo gives you this nice... Uh, leak free pump sack so what was happening I was still like yeah I like having a medium wide pad I'll just upgrade it to this sack mind you you get this when you buy their system you get a good pump bag so I bought this sack and I just the other night was out trying it and guess what happened I'll give you a clue the sack just I don't know if this is slightly bigger. It just kept kind of annoyingly falling off the nozzle. I got real frustrated. I said, you know, out of these two pads, I'm going to send this back. So these guys are doing it all right. You get a sack with the pad that's good. It connects on there positively. At first, it was like a little hard to kind of get it off. You kind of got to get your finger in there, or whatever, get the trick to kind of... I'd rather have you have a hard time getting the thing off than it falling off while you're trying to pump it. So I paid like $40 more. Uh, and you all know these are a couple hundred bucks for this types of nice pads. But I paid like $40 more for this. I do like the wider opening so you can kind of... I will ro just roll the pad in half like that. Neo Air X light and just shove it into the opening but I can kind of still do that if I really want to or just you know use an extra different sack I don't like have to fold them like three times like they have them in the package but those are all particulars like I said real good pads just all I'm gonna say is like the holding the air is important to me, like staying on my back. The more air you lose, you kind of settle into it. You don't want to pump it up at night, especially if the thing's going to either keep falling off the pad here in this case or blowing air out the seams. Um, then we go to where I've come from. Well, last year I used this, worked well. Advantage of this, this guy is this is the woman's Neo Air X Light. So it's the same type of system as this, just not quite as heavily insulated. And you can blow it up pretty quick because it's more, you know, the dimensions of this pad. It simply doesn't hold as much air. Then we got the X-Pad. For years I've been using it. I upgraded from the Climate just because this valve got quirky and I wanted the mummy shape. You get in kind of the edge of the pad, kind of sleep, 
slip out of the hammock. It's a rectangle. But now, if you want a good value, I mean, these have different, the quick release valve, they're all redone. For, you know, 70 to to $100 US, it's a really nice pad. You know, you make, you know, they got a lightweight version. Um, so I've had, I've tried the Sea to Summit, a couple others. I started with just a Bass Pro Thermarest Scout or something. Just like a squishy self-inflator it kind of i've had a couple cheap self-inflating ones but uh this works real well just the pad blows their baffles and mine came uninsulated on the side rails then but that schnozzle there is a good system they're all good is what i'm saying you're not going to have anything perfect but i definitely don't didn't like the other night how I had decided to pay for the better bag here and then I'm airing it up and it kept falling off the nozzle and you know simply because it is a wider pad it you have to put more air into it so and especially when it starts slowly slowly deflating you know maybe it gets colder or it just ever so slowly leaks out of whatever seams and different things it has you're settling into it so all the air is going to go out here because it's wider which is fine usually but when it's real real cold maybe you lose air a little faster it's tough is what i'm saying these are awesome products and i'm proud to even try them but uh i just say if you don't have any money you come down here you get the static five lightweight 79.99 these like I'd love to try everything their new system they got the green ones out but still I'm kind of sore at them for just not saying that the outer rails to my pad were uninsulated I thought I was buying the best thing out there but they work good their system is really good this schnozzle this works good just because it inflates pretty quick because it's small and I don't need much it's probably the lightest weight most passable thing it still has like a higher R value than this believe it or not they both crinkle really loud that's something they're known for whereas the Nemo system seems to be pretty quiet sleeping on it but we'll see I actually have both these scheduled to go back and maybe get the extreme version I've been getting good feedback I appreciate the comments and everything about the extreme but I'm having a hard time sending it back I like to support a company that makes something good. I don't think it's too often you can find such a nice recon camo. It's two different colors, so you can kind of tell the difference at night. That's another thing. It's, this is blue on both sides. The bottom side, or green or gray or whatever you want to call it, the bottom side is a heavier nylon, but if it's middle of the night, it's kind of hard to see you know, which side am I inflating. And some of these are kind of specific to what side you sleep in on top of you know especially if it's cold out or they're supposed to reflect heat a certain way or whatever but yeah definitely love i'm glad thermarest listened they made a wider mummy pad but these sacks i mean you don't notice until you get something better sometimes and again I, I, this could be wider you could go around yeah it could be wider i could shove it in there easier when it's done but it does work good you know i don't know this thing works good so it seems to um, but it can be real annoying especially if it's middle of the night or something you're inflating your sleeping bag and you either feel the air like you're having to pump it a whole bunch of times the bag and the air you can kind of feel by your hands coming out the seams or you just paid for what is supposed to be better and the thing has fallen off it fell off the first time i'm like well oh, maybe i just have it on wrong then i have a couple more times i'm like i mean you get the hang of everything like this was on a little too tight i kind of had a hard time getting my fingers in there and grabbing a little tab and popping it off and whatever but eventually i figured it out a little better and it maybe it breaks in a little over time but it works it doesn't leak at the seams it pumps it up quick the pad does not lose 
air quite like this one you know what I mean I can go like that and it's this one's a little tighter um, it matters especially if it if it does get cold and it's the wee hours of the morning and you're in your hammock and you don't want to get out and have to pump up your pad or your butts hang into the ground and your tailbone's cold because you're supposed to have this insulation underneath you but now you have this because it deflated and whatever you know 